Hello my crafty friends. Welcome back to my channel. And as promised, I made five cards with the embellishments that I made on the 11th. I made holly berries and leaves. And now these are the cards that I made with them. I used my ornaments embossing folder. I used Versifying Clear Green Oasis. And for one of the cards, I embossed with this beautiful sparkling gold embossing powder. I used a paper pad from Winter Wonderland. I still have not made shaker cards with it though, but I did use the stamps come from there also. The inside stamp comes from that set. Okay, here are my cards. I painted this. This is rose gold, and I do have some footage up there that you can see. This is rose gold, and I used black gold and also yellow gold. So this is rose gold. It's the most wonderful time of the year. This is from Stampin' Up. I put the big holly berry here, hollies here, the little one here. I used a piece of Winter Wonderland paper back here, and then I I used the uh, embossing folder to make the, the red matted piece. And inside, Merry and Bright. That is from Winter Wonderland set. And then the littlest piece of holly there. And this is the black gold one. This is the one that uh, you see on the footage here. I used the brush, the wider brush, and that helped me to make a more straight line because the first few attempts were, were horrible. <laughs> Again, merry and bright. I used the same on everything, except I did change up the colors here. And like I said, also I did emboss gold on the last one. But this is rose gold again, some more paper pretty uh, cute candy canes and this is yellow gold this is the only one that I did yellow and I did have to cut it down because as I went I realized my sizes this was going to overtake the matting and that wouldn't be good but anyway this is yellow gold this is rose gold and this is yellow gold I personally like the rose gold better. What do you think? And then the same on the inside. And then here's my pretty sparkly one. Because of the rose gold, I thought I'd try this and see how closely it matched. What do you think? The, the problem with the sparkly is that it doesn't feel like it's totally melted. And I think one time when I did my St. Patrick's Day card, it actually burnt. So there are my five cards. These are the last Christmas cards I'm going to be making for the season. I will be posting a couple of shorts, but I'm going to be taking a break to get ready for something really big December 30th. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Thank you for joining me and Merry, Merry Christmas. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.